Dozens of people came to the Collinsville City Commission meeting tonight to voice support for the Ward Wiseman Animal Shelter. Now, the city owns the property that houses the animal rescue and pays its rent and utilities. We told you last month the city decided not to renew the shelter's lease. Fox 23's Kaylee Carnine is live in Collinsville after going to tonight's meeting. Well, the room inside City Hall hit its max capacity. The fire marshal was telling people they had to listen from the hallway. Most people were there in support of the shelter. Hundreds of people showed up to Monday night's city council meeting, some wearing Save Ward Wiseman Animal Haven shirts and holding signs that read, Honk if you love rescues. They were there in support of Ward Wiseman, a no-kill shelter in Collinsville. It's a shame that we're losing the most valuable thing that we have here, something that's helping the community and animals. Jeremy Babbitt is the son of the Ward Wiseman founder, Susan Babbitt. He says that it's always been a community thing. She involved everyone. It was all built with donations. Um, the, the town uh, stood up with her to do it also. The air conditioning overhaul and all, they donated AC units, you know, uh, and it took years, years to get the money together to be able to build this out. The city commission voted unanimously last month not to renew Ward Wiseman's lease. City manager Chuck Rawls says there have been issues with how the shelter operates. The numbers that um, we are sending through Ward Wiseman versus the other facilities in the region and uh, they just do not have the space or the capacity uh, to, uh, to, to serve the city's needs. At the meeting, no agreements were made, but Jeremy is optimistic. It's really sad to see that, um, you know, it's not done, but knowing my mom, it, she's going to build another one, and it will be all for the animals. Tonight's agenda item was just a discussion and no decision, decisions were made, but Fox 23 will keep up on the latest of this story and we'll let you know whenever we find out more. Live in Collinsville, covering news that matters, Kaylee Carnine, Fox 23 News.